Hey YouTube, what up? This is Brian Easy. I got a request to do an SSD tweet guide. So here it is, guys. Uh, first things first, let's go to our uh, BIOS. So we go into our BIOS, guys, and basically we want to go to... So in, in on an ASRock Extreme 4, I'm going to go to Advanced Storage Configuration. And basically I'm going to check and make sure that my drive's in AHCI, guys. So you want to make sure it's in AHCI. And you also want to make sure that this here, so this is important guys, this is probably the most important that people don't do, is that you click on your SSD manually here, so it's on a SATA 3 port guys, and as you can see Corsair Force 3 SSD, and we want to make sure that, see, it's a solid state drive. So before it was, default will usually be hard disk driver. You want to make sure it's on solid state drive. I did notice a bump in performance after I chose that option. Now, make sure that's selected and that's selected. And obviously, before you apply this tweak guide, guys, you should make sure, as, if, as with anything, before you make any changes to your computer, you should always make sure that it's stable beforehand and, you know, everything works, okay? So anyway, guys, this is the BIOS section. I'm going to boot into Windows and then I'm going to boot into Camtasia and I'm going to show you the rest of the tweaks in Windows and what to do. So as this is the first tweak guys, in BIOS you just change those two settings for the Extreme 4, they're under Storage Configuration, AHCI, and click on the drive, Solid State Drive, make sure those options are selected. Okay, so that's the first little bit, let's go on to Windows. Okay guys, so we've made sure those settings are enabled in BIOS and now we're going to move on to Windows. So I'm using Camtasia Studio 8 now and we're going to basically show you guys, first off I'm going to open up my tweak guide for an SSD because I basically, I've forgotten a little bit of the steps I used since it's been a while since I've done this. Now the first step here is basically, yeah, right click on C drive properties and uncheck the indexing box. So guys, feel free to pause it anytime during this tweak guide as well and, you know, Sure, yeah, pause it, make sure, you know, if, if I'm too fast for you guys, just pause it, so. So, let's go, we go, so go to computer, start drive, start computer, right click here, properties, and local disk, and you want to see that there, allow files, blah, 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 contents index in addition to a file and properties, you want to make sure that's unchecked, and then you go apply and you go, okay, this will take about a minute or so, I've already done it, so I don't need to do it again. So now we're on to the next tweak. Disable this fragmenter, okay? So I actually enabled this before I did the tweak guide just to show you guys what it's like. Because, you know, as you disable it in services, it won't work anymore. So we open up this defragmenter, and you want to make sure everything is on never run. So you obviously, it'll be here, it'll be turn off schedule, and you can just turn it off. Mine now has changed to turn on schedule, obviously. So if we do that, okay. Run a schedule, okay. Configure schedule. Uh, run on a schedule, okay. See, let me just turn it off, okay. So it's turned off. Blah blah blah. That's make sure we do that. And then we want to, okay. So we, we can disable that later in services, as we'll disable a few services later. Now system restore. So we want to make sure the system restore is disabled. So we go to computer, open control panel, and I'm pretty sure it's. System restore should be in system. I hope. Yeah, system protection. So you want to make sure that's off so you can click on configure. Mainly your SSD. You can use a backup, guys. I just click that. Turn off system protection. OK. And that's off. OK. And that'll free up about, I don't know, it can free up depending on your hard drive space. I think it freed up a few gig for me at least, which on an SSD is precious space. OK. So that's that tweak done. Okay, let's move on to the next. Disable Hibernation 2, which does free up space, okay? So for this one, guys, you want to go to C, uh, Accessories, Command Prompt, and Run as Administrator. And you want to disable that setting. Mine's already disabled, but I'll show you what you do anyway. You, know, you just type in here, sorry, PowerCFG slash H off. And that'll make sure it's already off for me, so it was very quick to do it. So that's there, and that'll free up some more gigabytes on your system. Now guys, make sure the page files turn off. And this, this tweak here is debatable. People say, oh, you do, you should use I found my computer runs very good without it on, so I highly recommend it. System protection, I think it's in advanced. 
yeah there it is so basically you go to system pr properties system protection you know or whatever and go to s advanced here this tab next to system protections go to performance settings and we want to go to advanced okay and we want to see this virtual memory now this is why I recommend getting 16 gigabytes of RAM guys because if you get 8 gigabytes of RAM you're probably going to need that 8 gigabytes cache which is going to take up 8 gigabytes on your SSD this will 16 gigabytes we can just use only the RAM to give us that really good performance in Windows and see here you change it and you basically want to say no paging file OK and then you want to restart your computer this one actually needs a restart to take effect mine's already done so I don't need to do it anymore now let's get on to the next tweak guys so here we go uh, basically the next step after this is power options turn on high performance okay so we go to control panel power options and I've got mine on high performance but also guys you can change the plan I do mine to 10 minutes turn off display never put the computer to sleep and I obviously go to hard disk, turn off hard disk, never, okay? So they're the main ones. I also will quickly show up have that to paused. And that's about it, guys. Sleep after never. And that's about all I use, basically. So, you know, that's, yeah, so that's for power options. That may be affecting your hard drive sometimes if you leave your computer AFK. And the next step, okay, so that's that done. After this, we can right-click on SSD and Device Management Properties and check the buffer flash. So this one is a little bit of an extra boost in that. So we go. To, you click on right-click, go to Properties, go to Hardware, go to Properties again, go to Change Settings and Policies. So you've got to click on a lot of settings there. So let me show you again, guys. It's a lot of things to click through. You go to Properties, Hardware, click on your SSD, go to Properties again, Go to change settings, I'm pretty sure, yep, change settings, policies, so it's like so many within. And we basically enable write caching on the device and we can turn on Windows write cache or buffer flushing on the device. So, now since my computer is really stable, I can put both of them on. I actually find, I've actually found guys, and I probably recommend actually doing this, is that you know, I actually I've noticed very little difference between having this one on and off. I've actually noticed a little bit right caching on the device. I think that's good. But I've actually turned this one off because I don't notice the difference. So, and if there is a little bit of a power blackout, that one can cause corrupt files, like really dangerous. So, be careful with that with that setting. Okay. So, just want to double check and make sure it's there. And I don't. Yeah, personally, I don't. Yeah, I actually don't recommend leaving that on unless you've got a uninterrupted power supply so as as windows does recommend so that's pretty you know pretty solid advice from windows 7 there anyway so now for some reg edit tweaks guys these ones now obviously guys i have a whole windows 7 tweak guide which you can check out and i'll post the link here in the comment section i'll just put it in the comment section guys you can check it out and it's got a lot of good tweaks basically just make it in 1080p and pause it and do all the stuff in yeah so that's you know do that if you want to tweak your windows like mine's tweaked and you know there's some other good tweaks there but this is an ssd tweak specifically today so let's go to reg edit so we go to start menu reg edit and we can go to yeah my i had problems with google and internet explorer with my outlook express so i had to turn that off i had to change some settings in reg edit to make it work now let's go to Mm, this one first, HKey Local Machine. So the things are there basically. System, current control set. And uh, sorry, I'm pretty slow at doing this. So file system. And yeah, you want to make sure FTS disable eight dot three name creation. So yeah, that one that basically saves your computer from making another file which does increase performance ever so slightly and NTF last access update so but that one I've already like I said there it should already be done just that one you got the name creation you can change it okay so yeah you can change it to one and that's how you do it so it should already be done yeah okay now low disk space checks this is the next one in current user so we just collapse them I mean sorry 
yeah, collapsing. And we go to this one, guys, yeah, software. Now, I had to make this one, okay? So this one, I actually had to make the folder, I think. I don't even know if I've done it yet. So I may have not even done this one yet, but I remember in the past I had to actually make the folder. So current user software. Sorry, it's just I'm looking places, different places. Soft Windows. Okay, sorry, I'm pretty slow at reading these keys. Current version. And policies. Yeah. Explorer. Load. Yeah, there we go. So, Explorer, no load disk space checks. And it's a value of 1, as you can see. So, that'll basically make it if your disk goes low on space, which is on an SSD, it makes no difference if the drive's full or if it's empty. It doesn't affect performance of an SSD at all. They're designed differently to hard drives. So yeah, take that to one, that'll take that off. And basically the last thing is guys, some services. Uh, take off some services, okay? So now we want to take off disk defragmenter. There it is there. Want to go to properties, want to go to disabled and apply. So we're going to get that off. And ActiveX, which I find was already disabled anyway. And offline files, so we want to get rid of offline files as well. Now, offline files disabled and Windows Search. I do use Windows Search as you can see. I was doing search for MS services.msc, so it's a good. I like Windows Search, it's a good feature to have. I use mine actually on automatic, not even manual. I like it, so it's a good feature, and I don't notice any performance differences in anything. So, now, guys, the last thing I want to talk about you might be like, oh, well, why doesn't he use, uh, for instance, why doesn't he use super fetch? Why doesn't he disable super fetch and prefetch? I've actually disabled them and I've tried with them with disabled and you know with using them and I find performance is better with them both on so you know there you go guys I recommend leaving prefetch and superfetch on they're actually good so there you go anyway guys if you've got any comments let me know in the comment section below or if you've got any of your own suggestions that I may have missed please let me know and as always peace out for now and if you've got any requests too let me know I'll do them so anyway guys peace out for now bye, bye.